Hello and welcome to Reality TV Cringe. I am one of your hosts, Delia, here with my real tight homegirl and my daughter-in-law, Beatrice. Hi, everybody. We are here today to talk sister wives. We are still on our rewind jam, which means we are going back through the records, the Akashic sister wives <laughs> records. We are um, looking at season four. Yeah, still. Episode 10. Yeah. Still. Are you, are you just like, <laughs> when are we getting out of season four? <laughs> We've been in season four for a long There's time. There's a lot of episodes. There's a lot. In this season. Yeah. And probably every season after this. Yeah. But um, this is an interesting episode because... It's a confessional episode. Yeah. We have Cody and the gang answering some viewer submitted questions. Yeah. Now, before we get into it, we do want to remind you to please hide your wife and hide your kids. This is a politically incorrect podcast. We have stupid opinions and we are not afraid to share them. Plus, we swear a lot. Yeah. Especially me. Especially Beatrice. Yeah. And so if you're sensitive, you might want to find yourself another dumpster baby. But if you'd like to join us on our own Mormon planet, which yeah. is a dumpster, yes. welcome to this one. And if you do like what we do, make sure you go follow us on Instagram at Reality TV Cringe and join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Reality TV Cringe. That's where the real party's at, okay? And it is the best way to support us if you would like to do so. Yeah. Now, if you are watching on YouTube, first of all, you look beautiful today. Again, we attract what we are. So, we of do. course, uh. they're beautiful Gorgeous. please do not forget to like and comment and share and subscribe because every little thing you do helps us to grow or get fat yeah in the fat algorithm her. fat her yeah we're on a quest we're feeders yeah we're re feeder <laughs> raccoons we are looking to get fat so don't forget to support us and thank you in advance thank you all right so this is kind of a weird one to talk about because it was just a bunch of questions yeah and their fake ass, ho ass, lying ass answers. All the time. Which is what I really kind of kept in mind when we went into it. Because I'm like, these people are liars. Are constantly lying. Yeah. And we all know how things end up. Yeah. So I was kind of dissecting it from that orientation. Yeah. And I thought it was weird that they had the kids involved in it. Like, I understand they're all a whole family and everything and some of these kids are older and stuff but it just felt a little awkward a little weird yeah especially when the sex questions came up and they did come up and they seemed so shocked by that but i, I mean of course hello that's one of the primary reasons people are watching in the first place that's because all they're this watching. guy has four wives and so like how does that actually work <laughs> come to find out it doesn't work at all at all i did notice that they included mckelty though i know because typically like in the past when they're just interviewing the older kids mm -hmm. it's maddie leon logan and Hunter. Yeah. And McKelty, who I think is older than one of them. I think so. Maybe older than Hunter. Maybe it's Hunter. Like she's never included. Yeah. Because she's constantly separated because maybe she's quirky and a little different. I mean, she's definitely quirky. But this time she got her makeup all done yeah. up. She was ready for the camera. Yeah. And she was still annoying. She's still obnoxious. <laughs> I'm like, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear your opinion. I don't want to hear ever. about it. McKelty, I do think you're 24 or something now. I still don't want to hear your opinion, but I didn't want to hear it when you were 15 or 16 either, no, honey. Oh, when you were talking about your spiritual connection with Brianna. I'm like, shut uh, up. Uh, Robin's one tear. Oh, my God. <laughs> this touches me so, me so much. Happy. Okay. Cringe. Visine. Yeah, I thought it was interesting how Christine talks about how she butts heads a lot with McKelty. I'm like, yeah, because yeah, she's the most like you. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. she's also annoying like you. Well, keep in mind, though, that um, as we've learned over the seasons, like McKelty actually went to go and live with Robin and mm -hmm. Cody because Cody was there all the time yeah. because Christine didn't really want her. Yeah. Yikes. And Cody and Christine have talked about how McKelty was kind of a problem child and didn't get along with the other kids and was kind of different. And so Robin was her safe place to land, I wow. suppose. Parents of the year right there. Which is interesting. Like, 
I mean, I guess that's one of the benefits of being in a polygamous situation. Like you can send your kids over to the other mom's house, but like McKelty actually lived there I for know. a period of time and took care of all of Robin's kids. Right. But I'm also like, Christine, like maybe just chill out a little bit. I mean, she's just wanting to wear a low cut shirt because mm-hmm. she's a teenage girl and wear some weird blue eyeliner. Like leave her alone. And McKelty really is her one child that is exactly like her because Seriously. Aspen didn't grow up to be like Christine at all. And um, the other one, Gwendolyn. Yeah. Well, Gwendolyn's like a child right now. She's like 10 or something. Yeah. But I mean, she grows up to be a little bit quirky, little but like bit. not necessarily like Christine. And More then we McKelty. have Isabel. Yeah. Who's super chill and yeah. not like Christine. It's McKelty. They're exactly the same. And that's why you're annoyed by her. And 100%. that's why everybody's annoyed by her. Yes. And you too, Christine. Of course. You're annoying. Well, and Christine's an Aries too. She's the only one of the family that's like a little bit more high strung, a little bit more crazy. She's ready to rock. Yeah. She hides behind the whole like, oh, I make mock tapioca pudding. I'm so great. Uh." I'm like, no, you're angry all the time. Yeah. You're (laughs) mad at Cody. Yep. 24 7 and look totally justified because i would be too shit and Mm -hmm. i'd be mad too but yeah i whatever christine mckelty they don't get along let's get to the important questions okay which were about sex yeah cody's hair (laughs) (laughs) right which wife gets mad at him yeah or like is there ever a time when there isn't a wife that's mad at you yeah and that's when we hear from robin which we'll get to but i'll let you direct us honey well the funniest question to me was cody's hair because yeah. he seemed so uncomfortable by that question there were three teenage girls being like what products do you use <laughs> for your beautiful hair and at the time he's not curling his hair so he's not getting a perm he's not doing he's any not of doing the, the shirley temple yet. yeah <laughs> yeah but at the time he's got this weird frayed out dead looking mop. yeah but like the um they're not bangs but the pieces in the <laughs> front bangs. are definitely covering the extensive balding that's the receding taking place right here yeah so yeah. he's definitely doing whatever he can to hide the fact that he's balding and so i forget exactly what he takes or does he's got a cleanser he's got a cleanser and a follicle booster and something like a, else for hair growth yeah i forget but it's all about the hair growth yes and he doesn't phrase it that way he's like i don't want to lose my hair uh-huh. so i take these products so i can keep my hair and i'm like buddy you're you've losing been losing your hair yeah. you're gonna continue to lose your hair yep. you bald <laughs> just face it Shave that head. We saw your brothers like three episodes ago. They all bald. Cue balls. <laughs> I mean, and here we are in 2024 and you've got like bands over here and like strategically placed uh, ringlets so that we don't see that you're bald. We can all see that paint of see skin. It. You're bald. <laughs> it's okay. Jeez. Just accept it. Body positive. I know. <laughs> Just get right with it, Cody. Oh, But God. he's insecure. He's so insecure. He's very insecure. Uh, it's embarrassing. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then there was another question about who who pulls the ranks in the family and it was asked to the wives yes the wives which one pulls the ranks or whatever who's the authority and janelle starts to answer and be like well i am with my kids but then if i'm not around then they definitely listen to the other moms and then cody's like i pull the ranks right i'm the man i'm the ultimate authority (laughs) what i say goes and i'm offended that you asked the wives what the hierarchy was because i'm at the top i'm the king i'm the king of this planet i'm the patriarch that's right i'm the priest and it's funny because there's he is the priest. It's funny because they show a flashback of him yelling at Gabe, I think, mm-hmm. one of them, and the kid, he's just laughing at him. Yeah, he doesn't take him seriously. No, because it's so performative for the cameras. Yeah, because Gabe is playing with Savannah a little yeah. too rough or whatever. Right, and here comes Cody taking the opportunity to be a dad on camera, and Gabe <laughs> literally is just like, okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, you're only here once every five days, so which they also talk about in this confessionals episode season four bring it up oh oh, they asked what has changed the most (laughs) yes since las vegas yeah and the kids actually answered much to cody and the wives chagrin Mm -hmm. um and the kids are basically like well the family culture has definitely changed we used to see our father period (laughs) we used to see him (laughs) and we no longer see him and it's really unfortunate and it's weird living in four separate houses and then we've got fucking robin who is the orchestrator of the entire family demise piping up and saying, yeah, 
<laughs> can really see the culture of the family has shifted and changed. It's not what I thought it was. And I'm like, bitch, shut up. Bitch. Nobody wants you here anyway. <laughs> you're the one who caused the problem. And you're going to sit there and act like you're like, yeah, it's really sad. The family's so different now. It's so different. She's like, I wanted what the family had. And it's slowly slipping away from me the longer that we're here mm-hmm. in the separate homes. I'm like, okay, bitch. Yeah. Shut up up and then they were talking about like the vegas culture utah and how everybody in utah is a bunch of stifflers a bunch of stifflers yeah sticklers i meant to say sticklers like stifflers mom Uh, yeah i was gonna say (laughs) stiffler whatever sticklers stifflers sticklers for like religion (laughs) yeah and just like they don't drink in utah they don't do Uh, nothing i watched the real housewives of salt lake city honey those people have one of them has a tequila line (laughs) There's bars and they're drinking, but they, I guess in the Mormons. religion, no, they're Mormon. What? Yeah, she's they're not Mormon. supposed We're to. We're talking about Lisa Barlow here, uh, Salt Lake City Real Housewives. They're not supposed to drink. I know that's against so the it, law. I know, but this is something that they actually do. And we see Cody, who still claims to be a Mormon to this day. I think he's getting his beer at the Target. Oh, for sure. All these wives. Janelle still claims to be LDS or something like that. Yeah, and she's got her wine rack. So all these people. Stay lying. They are Stay such liars. liars. And so the kids are like, yeah, you know, the drugs are way more accessible in yeah, Las Vegas. For sure. But they were still being put in front of me in Utah. That's yeah. what Maddie said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is so true. I mean, I was telling your daughter the other day about when I was going to high school, I, had, I knew friends. Obviously, I lived in Oregon, so this is totally on par. But I had friends in ninth grade being like, hey, you want to do some meth? I'm like, <laughs> meth? <laughs> in my rich high school that I went to at the time. They literally, I had a 14 year old girl come up to me and be like, Yeah, I do it every now and then. Do you want to try meth? Oh my God. <laughs> like, no thanks. <laughs> I was offered meth. I was offered heroin. I was heroin? offered pills. Yeah. Oh, what? It wasn't just weed. My God. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I thought I was radical smoking pot in sixth grade in the big islands of Hawaii. Yeah, no. And tending to my father's marijuana crops. <laughs> But like meth when you're in middle school? You're 14. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. That's scary. And she would bring it to school all the time and do it on lunch break out in the football field. With a spoon and everything? Just heating up something in the the bleachers? Just getting her meth on? Wow. Yeah. And a bunch of rich kids there. Oh, wow. I know. But that's public school for it. That's all I'm saying is that it doesn't matter if you're in Utah or in Las Vegas. Drugs be drugging. When I was in high school, way back in the day, (laughs) honey, it was the the 80s. (laughs) Okay. we And it was an outer islands of Hawaii. But like... We had a place called the backfield. It was just like the football field. Uh-huh. And like at recess, at lunch, all the kids would just go to the backfield and smoke <laughs> joints. The teachers would go back there, smoke joints. <gasps> the get teachers would be true. Teachers, students smoking out. What a time to be alive. It was wonderful. That sounds so fantastic. Crazy. We don't have that in Texas, honey. No, we do not. Which is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. This fucking state. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. back to these Mormons. <laughs> oh, God. And then they talk about like college and the stupid shit like that. Like, are the kids going to go to college? And Janelle and Well, Cody... did they? The what? question was more, did you guys like create some college funds for your 19,000 children? Like, are you being responsible with your finances so that these kids have a shot in life and Janelle's like well I mean I had to put myself through college (laughs) which means no yeah she's like I mean I hope we can help them a little bit but like they're gonna have to figure their own fucking shit out just like I had to do yeah and I hate them so deeply for this I know because you had all of these children with limited finances with a man who doesn't work yeah and spends more money on his hair products than his own children Mm mm-hmm and you're just going to throw these kids out to the wolves. And you're like, a lot of these kids aren't even going to go to college. And that's fine. Yeah. It's super weird. Well, I'm like, Robin's like, well, maybe they don't even want to go to college. Maybe they'll just do whatever they want. And Janelle's like, no, they're going to go to college. And Robin's like, well, they don't have to because then I can get all the money. Exactly. <laughs> then all that money can be funneled <laughs> into my secret. By the time D yep. goes to North Arizona University, do we think Cody and Robin are paying for his college? I'm pretty sure they are with Janelle's money. Yes. Yes. And <laughs> also, a uh, rah, 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 rah. Yeah. She's in college. I'm sure Cody and Robin are paying for that and for Priyana. But what about these other kids? What about the Logans? Right. What about the Leons? Nope. They Did had to these do it themselves. Get any money? I don't think. Well, maybe Leon, because Mary, you know, she's rolling in. Honey, uh, with that. Yeah. Lula Ro. Yeah. 
LuLaRoe many. Probably. But did Leon go to college in Colorado or something? I don't know. Chicago, I thought. But I don't know. Dang, that would have cost a lot of freaking money. Yeah. Maybe they got a scholarship. I don't know. I don't care. Did Cody go to college? I don't think so. Okay. He never talks about it. But on the couch in this moment, he's like, all these kids need to go to college. They need to get a trade. They need to figure their shit out. But I'm not going to equip them in any way. No, no, no. To help them to do that. They're just going to have to, as soon as they're 18, Mormon boys, they're fucking kicked out. Yeah. Cody doesn't give a shit. I mean, that's kind of how I was raised. They were like, Me too. you got to go to college, period. Get some scholarships, figure out how to pay for it. And then eventually, I just went to community college and my parents mm-hmm. helped pay for it. So that was good because community college is way cheaper. Yeah. And that's how most people should do it, in my Absolutely. opinion. Absolutely. I mean, let's not even get into a whole conversation about Girl. colleges these days. But yes, and I remember my ex-husband, your wife's father like he was a litigator he made a lot of money he was a man of means my friend yeah but he's just like no my kids are gonna have to figure it out yeah then of course he got a divorce from his first wife and (laughs) as an article of their divorce agreement he had to pay for his two sons to go to college and then as an article of our divorce agreement he also had to pay for your wife to go to college but she dropped out yeah she did so (laughs) it was not for her no it was not but his philosophy was like i put myself into the air force academy i excelled i put myself through law school like my kids can figure that shit out Different which times. I actually respect yeah I respect that but if I had it to do over like and if my situation was different I would want to help my children especially in the year of our Lord 2024 are you kidding where it costs so much freaking money to go to college are you yeah. kidding me I would try to help yeah but not the Browns no they don't give a shit they do all. not <laughs> they're like we Robin's have all these like um I've got a Dickensian <laughs> village <laughs> that buy. I am developing <laughs> I'm the developer of that village. And so I'm sorry. We got to spend our money on my sister wife's closet. Yeah. Like my designs. And the startup. Hearts on hearts on hearts on hearts on hearts on hearts. Ball sack hearts. That's Ball sack are. hearts. Waiting oh. to come into the world. It's so bad. These parents suck. They do. And then we have the question of, um, is there ever time when the wives are not mad at you to mm-hmm. Cody? And Cody just kind of sits there silent and the wives are like, no, like we, we're not mad at him. And Christine's like, I'm mad at you a little bit. I'm mad at you right now. (laughs) And then Robin Mm. with her big head. This was so bitchy. (laughs) She's like, well, like when my mom, who is the final (laughs) sister wife. Yeah. Who is. The favorite. A bitch. Yeah. She's like, well, mom, when my mom married her husband, she determined in her own heart that she wasn't going to be petty and she was going to focus on the things that were working, focus on the things that were right. And so that's my philosophy. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be mad at my beautiful husband. <laughs> I'm going to focus on what's right. And that's why he loves this breakdancing pussy. 100%. And that's why, Christine, you're sitting over there on the edge of the couch angry to this day drying up and that's why he doesn't visit you yes in your bedroom at night which is so wild to me because i mean in marriage you have to let some things go right like you can't be mad at every like little tiny thing all the time sure okay but christine's not mad about petty stuff no <laughs> like she's mad You're about neglecting my child and my pussy like, and my that's, pussy that's literally what she's mad about but robin's already framing it to cody like that's just petty grievances she just doesn't appreciate you like i do and she says it on the tail end of christine saying i'm mad she's like yeah well i don't focus on what's wrong i focus on what's right in other words christine Mm -hmm. that's your problem and that's why you can't keep cody yeah and that's why he loves me and that's why he comes to my house duh yeah but then cody's like i strive for harmony if there's conflict i want to resolve it i can't just sit around and let them be mad at me and i'm like oh my god man and now in 2024 looking back we know that he neglected janelle he neglected the hell out of mary oh yeah didn't have sexual relations with christine or mary and he's a terrible husband and a terrible father so what kind of harmony are you looking for cody you fucking liar i know he just said shit for the camera prefer him me neither don't like him at all and speaking of sexual relations some brave soul goes on video and asks him what he takes to satisfy all of these women like is there a pill or something yeah how you fucking all these ladies and keeping them happy first of all they're not happy not at all second of all it's only robin that's getting anything Mm -hmm. and i'm sure it's not that good and he gets offended he He sends his older children from the room he's like you can't hear this yeah so the kids leave and they're grossed out anyway. Totally. They're like, oh my God, I was just shocking to ask this question. Again, this is all anybody's going to want to know, knowing that you have four wives. Hello. But whatever. Yeah. 
And then once the kids are gone, Cody's like, I'm not answering that. I prefer not to answer. <laughs> Why did you send your kids from the room yet then? Just say I don't want to answer that. Like, were they planning on answering? And then they went to a commercial break and the wives were like, don't answer that, please. Don't talk about that. I don't that. know. But Mary does say, yeah, we don't talk about those types of things okay. in front of our children and certainly not in front of the national audience. It's just not what we're about. No, not at all. Which is so, such bullshit. Lame. It's such a cop out. Yeah. Does he take Viagra? How I'm, often is he doing you? You're trying to conceive as we speak, Mary. Allegedly. Allegedly. And IVF. And he's got to do it at least once a month when you ovulate. Do you ovulate? What's going on downstairs? Like, we have questions. I mean, it's so Just wild me. to me. Like, he's probably telling Christine, like, oh, not tonight. Next week. And it's like every week, like, oh, not tonight. Not tonight. He, We know he's given Janelle the sweet, sweet loving because it's in Vegas. Mm -hmm. It's a renaissance of their love. Like, everything's great for them. He's not banging Mary. So he's just doing two women right now. Yeah. Janelle and Robin. Right. But he doesn't want to say that. No. He's probably not taking anything because he it's probably enough for him right i don't know he's in his 40s though so. yeah in your 40s it just depends for on men. yeah i think it depends on your health and things yeah. of that nature i don't think uh, he's got a lot of testosterone no <laughs> unless he's on trt right now he's a low t daddy <laughs> i don't think they were doing that like back then back though, in Vegas? like in 2012 2013 if that was like a well-known thing to do for dudes i think that kind of happened mid to late really? 2010s yeah Dang, i don't sad. think he's doing tea i think he's doing tea now i think yeah. the angry yeah steroided Swole. roid rage dude that we've got now yeah. during the covid years was totally taking tea and totally doing other stuff probably human growth hormone oh yeah and probably viagra also probably viagra <laughs> Totally doing Viagra Snorting. because, you know, Robin, she has her needs. Oh, yeah. I mean, she has it, her needs. She's in her menopause age, too, right? Isn't that where it starts? Or her premenopause where she starts getting really horny. I don't really know. into it. Perimenopause. I'm I'm not sure. Like the way that she dresses in her Kohl's blouses, yeah. I'm not I'm not getting horny. <laughs> well, maybe she's just doing that because um, she's a Mormon lady. They got to be modest, but she's a freak in the sheets. They, they exist. I think maybe when they first got together and he's leaving Christine in the birthing room to oh, go yeah. make out with they Robin on camera. Oh. <laughs> I think back then when she's wearing her diesel jeans and she's breakdancing, it's, she's not too far removed from the cap and yeah. the breakdancing. I feel like she's a sex pot in that totally, era. Yeah. But I think the Robin that we've got now. Oh, in 2024? Yeah. I, mean, oh, I, don't, yeah. Think, I don't think she. Uh, oh, I feel like she's got to. I feel like she's pegging him at least. We keep saying this every time, but I feel like she's got to be doing something. Pegging yes. Cody Brown. I hope she's pegging I Cody Brown. Bet. Perfect. Oh my God. Perfect. Can't you just see it? I know, I know nobody wants to envision it. But I am. I mean, I think we all are right now. I just don't I just don't see her that out of all of the wives, the freakiest to me is Janelle. Every time you this is Janelle, it's well, Janelle. She, she's a Taurus. She's a Taurus god. Uh, Do I repeat myself a lot? She seems to me like she's a woman who knows what she wants. It depends on her Venus sign. And her pants. The astrologer says. Yeah. It depends on the Venus sign. If she's a Taurus Venus, then for sure. I don't know. She seems pretty passionate yeah, well, in life. I mean, maybe Cody killed that for her, though. Maybe. I feel like now she's more passionate for her plants. Right. For her kids. For well, she sugar. just needs to meet the right man. You know, uh, she was in Wyoming, I yeah. guess, this last weekend. For with Fourth of July. The family, which mm -hmm. excludes Cody and Robin because they're not real family. Yeah. I shouldn't have to say that, but I will. Yeah. But she's up there in Wyoming. Find yourself a cowboy, honey. Girl. You're right there. That's what I've been saying. You're this close. Big belt buckle. You're a beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. Janelle, you just need to be... You deserve You it. just need to be laid down in the right way <laughs> by the right man. Laid or down, woman. spread it wide. Or woman. That's for Mary. Mary needs a nice, a nice lesbian <laughs> to show her the way. <laughs> my god can you imagine oh my god it'd be my dream if mary got into a lesbian relationship and some beautiful yes. lesbian woman gave her the permission to let this shit go elsa let uh, this shit worthy go. of really worthy of in your pants in and with pants. me and let this cody brown robin fixation uh, go oh my god can't you, the, the liberation of mary so great the spiritual freedom of mary oh my god oh uh, it's only a dream though in another universe i feel like she's totally a gay oh uh, She's one of you. Totally, yes. She is, yeah. Yes. LGBTQIA. Yes. Where were we? <laughs> <laughs> what other questions were asked that were noteworthy? Um, Logan raising the kids. Yeah. 
being the protector. Yep. Being the dad that Cody can't be. Right. Um, I think somebody asked whether these older kids were dating. And yeah. I definitely looked at Madison. Oh. I was watching Madison so closely. Because in case you don't know, Madison married Caleb when Madison was, I don't know how old. A minor. But I don't, she wasn't <laughs> a minor when they married. But the rumor is, and I know some people contest it, but like you're wrong. Yeah. The rumor <laughs> is that Caleb was talking to Maddie when Maddie was like 16 years old, 17 years old. At and the so time of this confessional. That's right. When the question is being asked, so like, what's up, kids? You dating anybody? And Logan's like, well, I mean... I met somebody, I might have kissed her. I'm fucking her. And then I'm looking at Maddie. Yeah. And Maddie's just sitting there quiet. Yeah. And I'm wondering if at this time she's being, I don't want to say groomed, but I will. I mean, I will in say the context groomed. of this, it seems applicable. Because I think Caleb was in his mid 20s. Yeah. I mean, he was old. Somebody correct me because yeah. I deserve it if I'm wrong, but he was older. So I think she's talking to Caleb in this moment. She totally is, but she's keeping it a secret, as a good teenager would do. That's what I did. Well, but Janelle knew about it. Janelle knew she was talking to Caleb, but I don't know when Janelle picked up on that. But Cody didn't know, did he? Well, I don't know, but Cody demands to know because his part of the answer to this question, which was, again, asked of the children. Yeah. Cody's like, I feel like I have a right to know if my kids are kissing on other people or if they're in relationships, like I should have the opportunity to give them counsel and to direct them in the ways of a healthy relationship. And I'm like, bitch, <laughs> you, he literally says it like when you're under my house and I'm like, what, what house, <laughs> which house, which are we house are about? you under? <laughs> Which bed are your boots under? For real. I have no idea. You're under Robbins. And you can so. already see these kids starting to lose respect for Cody Brown. They've like, been Why am I respect. supposed to check in with you? Where have you been since we got to Vegas? For real. You're never at my home. You're never kissing my mom. So why do I need to talk to you, daddy? Yeah. You don't even care anyway. No. And then we have a sweet question about um, whose favorite food or like what's the family favorite oh, yeah, food or whatever. Too. Mock tapioca. Yeah. Which is what Christine makes every year. Yeah. Takes an hour and a half to make. Yeah. And it does. It's got cream of wheat in it. Yeah. And some other stuff. So it sounds like a big pot. Yeah. Of sweet cream of wheat. And they love that shit. They're so white. I know. (laughs) White, honey. I know. I'm white too, but I'm from Hawaii. Yeah. I'm from a multicultural (laughs) background, my friend. Like I've had all kinds of different flavors in my life. Yeah. Men do. Ew. (laughs) I'm just like, when they say mock tapioca, I'm like, ew. Basic. <laughs> I know. Basic. For real. But I did look up the recipe. Yeah. Are you going to make it? No. I'll make it. Okay. But that's like my goal in life is to be the mom that like my kids, they'll come home from their various lives or whatever. And they're like, mom, please make me my favorite dish. That's my goal. Oh my God. You're such a trad wife. I totally am. I love that about you. I love it. That means you're going to feed me too. 100%. I love that especially. Whatever you want, I will make you. And I have. You any, have. Any request, any weird request you make, Yeah, I will make it. Thank you. It won't be good, but I'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> there was also a question about their Mormonism, like how many wives yeah. can a Mormon husband have and Cody talks about Brigham Young having 27 wives. Yeah. Of course, Cody says he thinks the limit is four because that's the amount of wives that he has. Uh He thinks any more than four would be like insanely difficult to manage, which we know that he's not managing any of these other three wives. So I get where he's coming from with that. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. And even Christine echoes that. She's like, I think four is great. How about no more ever? And then we actually get the story of how they courted some other woman. I know. Some some, other hoe. Yeah, Mary and Cody. No, Mary and Cody. I think it was before Janelle. Oh. I don't think Janelle was in the picture. I thought it was when they had all the... I don't think Janelle was in the picture. So they were courting some other woman for quite some time and then ultimately made the decision that it was not going to work. So I'm Mm. wondering who this woman is. I know there is a raccoon with a monocle out there, a forensic investigator of the dumpster kind who knows the answer to this question. Like, who is this woman? Oh, my God. Why hasn't she come forward? Why didn't they wife her up? Right. Was Cody banging her? Probably. (sighs) Cody's like, um, Mr. Merrifield, he's like, all yeah. you, all I need from you is a commitment, commitment. and we're like married in the eyes of God on collab. So let's do it. Yeah. Let's get it in. Yeah. I don't know. I want to know more. My God. Maybe it's in the book. 
Maybe. Which we have right here. Yeah. We're going to probably read it. Maybe. Patreon. Yeah. Patreon. Patreon.com slash <laughs> yeah. reality TV Creole. Yeah. Have you even read it? No. I haven't read it. I don't books. got that kind of time, honey. I got other books to read. You're as reading you know. all your other books. You're 47 books or 67 books or something like that this um, year, but you don't have time to read that. 99 books this year. <laughs> 99. 99 and books this year. And they're all smut. Of course. <laughs> Hello, I'm here to enjoy myself. But this is your job. It is my Delia. job. Well, I mean, like, hey, to be announced, we are definitely <laughs> going to go through that book. Eventually. Yeah. Maybe not. But Cody does tell us that four is the limit. And as we know, now he's a monogamous. Uh-huh. So now one is the limit. And he also talks about monogamous men, but I think it was an, attached to a different question about wives being mad. No, it was about... um. It, would you be okay with your daughters living plural lifestyle? Oh, and he okay. went on that long winded oh, yeah. tangent about, yeah, I'm fine if my daughters marry the right man and if they marry for love and blah, blah, blah. And everybody laughs at him because he right. takes forever to Word get to salad. This point. Yeah, yeah, trying to sound important. It's like when I was four and five years old and I would just say whatever <laughs> words I could that were multisyllabic yeah. so that I could sound smart and my yeah. parents would just laugh at me. That's what I was doing. I was just laughing at Cody. You're I a dumb, out. dumb man. <laughs> You're a bad person. Terrible. I don't like you at all. Your hair looks disastrous. It is not doing what you think it's doing. It's horrible in these earlier seasons. Yeah. I'm like, how could you ever go on TV looking like that? He's like wearing a mop. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. It's literally a blonde is, mop. I'm not unlike yourself. <laughs> no. Hey, I got style. Those of you listening wouldn't understand, but if you're Weird on YouTube, out. Yankovic you over do here. see that Beatrice is switching up her look. I happen to love it. I'm going to just do this so all the time. beautiful. You should. I'm going to buy new wigs and just surprise y'all. I love that. Thanks. I love that for us. Yeah. Was there anything else in this episode worth going over? Like at the end of the day, <laughs> we know that these people are lying. Oh, yeah. We can see on these elder children mm -hmm. that they're over it. That yeah. they are currently year of their Lord 2014 being neglected by Cody. And I see McKelty. I feel very sad for her. She's obviously the odd person out. Yep. And because of the way she's being treated, she's going to grow up to be a problematic individual that we are now dealing with as a society. Yep. And I feel bad for Logan because he's clearly been parentified, which uh -huh. is addressed in this particular episode. And I feel bad for everybody except Cody and Robin. Yep. Fuck them. Yeah. Forever. They're the worst. Fuck them. <laughs> we should put that on a shirt we should with her peggy <laughs> nobody's gonna where are they gonna wear that they can't wear that to the starbucks well yeah <laughs> <laughs> but it would be funny we could wear that we could on the pod on the pod that would patrons. be fantastic be great all right is there anything else <laughs> that we need to say to these beautiful raccoons before we get on up out of here be well if you love our podcast, please be sure to go to your favorite podcast platform and leave us a glowing five-star review. Ah! really helps us grow the pod and have more people join the dumpster. Oh, my God. We really appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. We will be back next week to continue our ongoing conversation about some teen hoes on Unexpected. Yes. And we'll also be talking about sister wives, uh -huh. having a conversation about past, yep. present, and future Browns. And so until then. Please do not forget that we have nothing but love for you. And peace out. Bye. Bye, guys.